white people be like, Shakes. Hello. Why you got so many necklaces? Why you got necklaces? He. Why you got so many necklaces? Why you got necklaces? He. Hi, I love you, chat Axel. Why you got so many necklaces? Why you got necklaces? Why you got so many necklaces? Why you got necklaces? Hi. White people be like, Shakes Axel. White people be like, Hi. White people be like, Luhtiin juu ei feks. White people be like. Two years baby. White people be like. Yas. So many necklaces. Why you got necklaces? Voa kuusi toista mant. Why you got so many necklaces? Why you got necklaces? Hi. White people be like. <clears throat> hey, what's up, everybody? Why you got so many necklaces? Why you got necklaces? Gets it. Why you got so many necklaces? Why you got necklaces? Hi. How is everyone? How are, how is everyone doing? I 
think this is like the first time ever in the history of this chat that we've maybe had so many people saying good. Like, I think usually there's a lot of like dots. There's a lot of, you know, um, so that's, that's great to hear. Um, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause the music for this because I just, I want to kind of focus on what I'm saying and I want to, um, and I'll, 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 I'll go on face cam for this too so that, uh, you guys can kind of, uh, you know, see me as well. So I'm not hiding behind a starting soon screen, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so I, I, I kind of, I, I want to, uh, just like from the fucking get go, just say that that was, uh, and I'm not gonna lie. I did not even mean that as a shot. That was. Uh, I don't. I also don't want people to think that I'm. I'm just like, I'm. I'm, I'm like taking this as a joke, or I'm. 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 Um, I'm not. You know. I'm not like here for it. Uh, <clears throat> so I. I. I, I woke up uh, to all of that shit happening, and it was. It was. Uh, I mean, you know. First of all, I just want to say that I. I feel. I feel terrible. Um, just for you know having this be something that happened in our community um and you know there is a a a part where some of the you know responsibility falls on me um and i'm i'm sorry to you know all the all the people that were affected i know that there's a lot of people that you know put a lot of time and money into watching these streams and and uh you know supporting us so it really sucks when so something like necklace, that happens. Um, and, you know, I, I messaged him all of, all of what I'm about to say um, before I even said anything publicly. And I, I basically told him that, um, first of all, you know, the, the screenshots that surfaced are not okay at all. Second of all, uh, you know, some, some of the stuff that we gathered privately and then uh, the, the response that uh, he gave publicly kind of really is just not acceptable at all, especially when you're someone that has, uh, I think, spent a lot of time dancing on the graves of others. When it's, when it's kind of your turn on the saddle, I think it's time to... Uh, you know, strain your back out and apologize with no excuses. I think that's what that's what uh, everyone kind of expected in that situation, and it's not what you guys got. Uh, so that's that's uh, it was it was just it, a lot of it, it was all just fucking disappointing to see. Um, let me let me try to think like what else I. I wanted to cover regarding this um yeah i don't know i uh it, it just a lot of it did not uh sit right with me um and there's definitely some uh, lessons to be learned here from all of us um and you know that's that's kind of like w what i've been doing these past few days is just kind of i don't know brewing on it thinking about it um I think there are times where I, as a friend, you know, with some on-stream behavior that you guys have called out prior, I think I should have been more vigilant to call it out. Uh, I shouldn't have kind of just sat there and, uh, you know, not fucking done anything about it. So that's, I, I'm, I'm sorry for that. Um, and it's, it's definitely something that, you know, in the future, I'm going to keep my ears perked and, um, my eyes out for that um and yeah i i uh i i mean i think hoover has mentioned this but yeah the the based on everything that we saw in in uh in that day there's just really no place for something like that in our circle because you know i i really at the end of the day 
the main reason why any of us fucking consume content where we all sit on Twitch all day, you know, the same reason why I do it is so that, you know, we have escapism. We can fucking escape whatever bullshit we have to deal with every single day. And it is so disappointing that the fucking, like, you know, um, that in a community as diverse as ours, it, the, all of this still, you know, seeps in. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm sorry to all the, all the black people that, you know, um, they find comfort in this space and that for that day, it was just not that at all. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm just sorry. And I don't know. I think this is, this is going to be a good kind of turning point. I think there's a lot lot to learn a lot to pick up from here and uh yeah I, I i think in general we're gonna we're gonna hold ourselves to a a higher standard with with stuff as well um you know you guys know that this is not like the first time i've had to, uh, to give one of these fucking speeches on stream i've been through this rodeo a couple times um which sucks and at a certain point you know you kind of do have to start looking at yourself as well uh and yeah i i just i just want to say i'm i'm uh i'm 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 sorry um so yeah i i i hope that kind of uh covers all of it um there were some people i got some uh dms which you know i understand everyone was understandably very upset on the day of but there were a lot of uh, dms that i got that were uh in the first few hours saying that uh i was staying silent and i, I just want you to know that that was never going to be the case whatsoever uh i do not stand for this shit i've never stood for this shit um it was it was yeah more so because um i was asleep i'd gone home from my uh visiting my parents or my mom i should say and um, after I woke up, I, I, I just kind of needed like a couple hours to process what the fuck was going on because it was just, it was a lot going on and there was just new shit happening every second. Um, so I just, I want to clear that up as well. I, I, I don't want anybody to think that there was even a moment where I thought I was, I was just gonna, uh, you know, try to sweep this under the rug. That was not going to happen. Absolutely not. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't have anything else to say um but i i hope that covers it and i i am once again sorry for everyone that had to fucking deal with this stupid bullshit um and yeah i i hope that going forward we can have some good laughs this summer you know have a have some good times and uh i don't know you know, do some more, uh, I'd, ra I'd rather, you know, our community be known for, for shit like we've done in the past, like, you know, raising money for Nick's mom and, uh, um, raising money for, uh, trans rights and stuff like that. We're gonna just, I don't know. I, I, I want to put a lot more focus on that and also, you know, um, kind of, uh, just, yeah, learn from it. So, that's it. And I, I don't know, to be honest with you, I don't know how to segue from this. Um, so I, I like, I, I, I don't know, uh, somebody like needs to like, uh, tell me how to move on because I, I don't know. Um, but I, yeah, <laughs> I, I uh, just, that, that's it. That's all. <sighs> What'd you eat today? I ate uh, air fryer chicken wings and uh, they, uh, they were warmed up chicken wings and uh, they were uh, not uh, not great, to be honest with you. Uh, they were not so good. Why you got necklace? Love the glasses, X. Um. Yeah. You know, are you stuck with these glasses? No, I'm not. Uh, okay, here's the thing about me: is I am just like a notoriously lazy person, and. I still haven't gone and, you know, gone my prescription done or whatever. So I need to like, um, I need to get on that. That's, that's something that I gotta, I gotta do. 
but it's also just like it's another fucking expense and it's it's just uh, you know i can see kind of even though when i do look at a computer screen for more than two hours with these glasses uh, i go kind of cross-eyed and i, I like get them. a little bit of a headache Hello. so uh that's that's great as well um yeah and also these glasses are a little bit crooked so if i don't adjust them all the time uh it's 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 just i i uh it's yeah it's not i look a little bit nerdy so um first actual stream in two years what a one to come back to i guess white people be like love or look okay let me put on some fucking music I look nerdy in any glasses. Dude, when my glasses broke, it was the first day that my friend Owen got here, and um, I was really annoying about it. I was just bitching so much. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe, dude. These glasses, they're so fucked up. I probably said the Zodiac Killer thing maybe like 10 times that day. And it got to a point where he was like, you need to shut the fuck up about those glasses, man. So, you know me, I'm a little dramatic, I'm a little, <sighs> you should put the song on I sent, what is this, Fei Wong, Fei Wong is like a familiar name, right, let me see this. What's up, Bear? Can we do an actuality lighters trend where we show our lighters? I do wanna... White people be like... Is that a um, Daddy Owen shirt? I do, I, I do wanna kinda do that. And I also do wanna start collecting lighters. It's, I've realized. Cause everybody has like, you know... Their, um... Is this a cover or is this the original? Cover. That's crazy. This is beautiful. Um. But yeah, I want to start collecting lighters because I feel like everyone in my life has, you know, something that they hoard. And lighters are kind of a cool thing to collect. I feel like there's a lot of sick lighters out there. You know, they're not too expensive. They don't take up too much space. I think that's like my new, my new life now is going to be that. Probably. Uh, another thing is... Uh, so many necklace, bro. I will... Like do a sim stream soon. I'm sorry. I've been saying this for two months. I will do it. I now I don't have any distractions. Um, so many we'll just do a, like a, a a big stream where we grind it out. I reckon. How's Owen doing? Owen left today, so it's just me and this. Uh, in this big house, in this huge house, in this humongous house. But yeah, it was it was a fun time, and I appreciate his presence. Also, let me let me thank the subs real quick. Kari B, Yes Jams, Nymphsick, Seb Does, Seabones, Burby, Alley Fruit, Real Mitski. Tony Stu, Grays Asleep, Not Jacob, Dear Boy, Cowboy Sophia, All 4K, M Likes Bread, Melissa, Cadmium, 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 Marge Doesn't Game, Fevers and Mirrors, Meg Angeline, Wizard Julia, Oscar winner Jamie Lee. Oh, that just reminded me. I'm. White people be like. 
I'm about to talk about the bear so much. Um, so this is like your warning to click off if you don't give a shit because I'm I'm gonna talk about it so much. Well, I'm not gonna spoil it, so don't click off if you haven't seen it. I'm trying to sell it to you. Oh jeez. Um, Johnny Bravo, King Rebecca, Kelpoid, thank you. Foof here, Brielle, thank you, thank you. I want to finish it, but I have to wait for Mikaeli. I'm literally going to start rewatching it again tonight. I don't know where to start. Literally, watching season two, the main thought I had in my head was that this show is one of those pieces of media where you kind of watch it. White people be like, and for like a ever so slight moment, you're you're just so glad to have like experienced everything you've ever experienced. You know what I mean? Just like everything good, everything bad, like everything that comes with being a person. That's literally how it just made me feel. It it's so. I don't know. It's 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 incredible. Genuinely, I know that you know. I don't want to be one of those people that gets to see like an A24 movie six months before everybody else and then goes around saying, this is going to be the best movie ever, y'all. This is going to change your life. And then, you know, obviously it's never going to live up to that expectation because that's going to, you know, it's kind of hard no matter how good the product is, right? Um, but, well, okay, for starters, I saw someone mention this and I think this kind of sums it up perfectly. The bear does what Ted Lasso was too afraid to like actually commit to. You know what I mean? Like Ted Lasso, I think, I think Ted Lasso, if it would have been handled differently, could have been a great fucking show because, you know, it's, it has like mental health subjects and it's about sports where I think mental health is a category that is pretty much completely ignored, but it's a show that like, it's too scared to become fully serious at any point, you know? They always have to kind of throw a punchline into every single uh, moment. So I don't know. By season two, I personally was kind of sick and tired of 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 Ted Lasso, right? But the bear has that same exact thing where it does warm up your heart. It is a heartwarming show. But it knows so well how to do it. It doesn't do. It doesn't treat you like a little kid when it's trying to make you feel good about something, which I think a lot of shows can kind of do. They're a little bit too on the nose with it, which at that point feels like, oh well, if I'm if I don't feel great about this, then I'm a piece of shit, you know. Um. So it, it's you know, but the bear does it in this like really great way where one scene. You're, you're sitting on the couch and you're thinking, wow, man, I it's over. It's so over. It's so done. I'm depressed. And then the next scene, they kind of, you know, they lift you up out of that. And they remind you that, like, no, this is why we kind of go through all this shit, you know? And they do it in such a natural, nice way in a setting where there are so many people that are going through so many different things. Yet through in the midst of it all, they kind of tried to uplift one another. Um, it's, it's amazing. Season one was great. Season two is where the show really grows into its own. It's, it's season two is, I'm not going to lie. And this is what I mean. I don't want to like hype it up too much. Cause I don't want you guys to watch it and be like, well, this is fucking bullshit. But when I was watching season two, I got kind of like the similar feeling I did when I watched Fleabag, when I watched Queen's Gambit, where I was where I was just genuinely so stunned and thinking, this might be like the best show I've ever seen in my life. That's genuinely how I felt. And I was watching with my friend Owen and we were both just kind of sitting there with our mouths open being like, this is amazing. Um, you know, as most good media, it is made by someone that just gets it. And that's that's a big part of it. You know, you really gotta 
you really got to just kind of get it. Um, and it's, it's, it's wonderful. And it has some of the, just the cast is so good. I fucking love the cast. The characters are great. The setting of Chicago is great. Um, one of the people that works on the show is Estonian. Sorry, I have to bring that up. <laughs> I do have to bring that up. You know, I was watching the title sequence one time and I was like, oh, that name looks very Estonian. So then I paused it. I did like the fucking Once Upon a Time in Hollywood thing where it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I looked up her name and I found out she's Estonian. She's like a set designer or something. Production manager or something. So, um, yeah. It's great. And I'm just saying, this is going to be like my next succession where you guys are, if you, if you guys want to watch my streams, uh, you kind of got to, you got to watch that show because I'm going to be, I'm going to fucking talk about it so much and I'm going to keep referencing it and I'm going to, you know, you don't want to feel left out basically is what I'm, what I'm telling you. Um, and also, I mean, I took a picture of it. Everyone, everyone kind of in the, sh that's watched the show has mentioned this. I want to just uh, find it real quick. Where is it? I got so many necklaces. Let's see. Why you got necklace? Um, the eyes, the beautiful eyes. Um, they are kind of crazy. And I don't know. I had I had to do it, man. I had to take a picture of my TV. That's how crazy it was. But yeah, um, Jamie Lee Curtis, kind of the goat, has to be said. She really like she does it. She does it, and she gets it done. Um, yeah, and I know everyone from that show. A lot of them are already doing great things, but I think from this they're gonna go off and do like incredible things, so. Fucking John Mulaney jump scare. Okay, here's the thing is right. I don't give a shit about John Mulaney. I don't give a shit about his personal life. He's a comedian, he's not a good person. What a fucking surprise. But I've just never liked them, just because I'm kind of like, I don't know, like this, I don't get this, like, I don't know, this isn't for me. Like, I don't really, whatever. So when he came up in the show, I was like, I was like, oh, wow, okay, whatever. And then I realized that he was kind of perfect for that role. And he kind of did, he did eat that role up a little bit. He was perfect in that little, like, facade, trip and grace type couple. You know what I mean? Um... So, yeah, it's 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 good. Good show. Check it out. The Bear is going to do so well at the Emmys. Here's what I feel sad about. It's, I don't know, personally, I feel like Better Call Saul might actually not win anything ever. I Because th this is kind of the last chance here, and it's been so long since the second half of the last season came out that, like, I feel like recency bias is... And, I mean, the last season of Succession did eat... It kind of ate... It ate um, so it's, it's really sad to me that it's not going to get any recognition. It was just really unlucky, I guess. Um, but yeah, what else, what else? Is there any other like media I've consumed? Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I've been watching a lot of Desperate Housewives. Uh, I used to watch it a lot as a kid with my mom. I cannot believe that my mom let me watch this with her. Now that I'm watching it, kind of insane, honestly. Probably like something I need to talk to a psychologist about. But it's it's good soap opera. It's a good soap opera. What show? Uh, Desperate Housewives. Desperate Housewives. Um, you look good today. Did you get new glasses? These are actually glasses from one of the darkest periods of my life. So, no, they're not new. <laughs>
I was just in Paris and it was the only thing on TV in English. That show is so crazy. That show is insane. Like, they will literally do any fucking plot line of all time. They do, they, like, they didn't really think like, ah, you know, maybe let's skip this. They will do anything. Those characters will do anything. And they will go through everything. Um, <clears throat> I've not watched Severance because, uh, Severance is, is, I just, I'm afraid to commit myself to it because it's gonna, um, I don't know, like, is the season two, if it happens even, is it gonna be good? I'm a little bit too nervous. I can't commit myself to another disappointment. I have too much of that. Do you know when you're gonna fix the Cool Dog episode? Oh yeah, the Cool Dog episode. I'm gonna, we'll upload it tomorrow. Uh... It's, you know, I got home like 10 p.m. And I was like, oh, yeah, the Cool Dog episode came out. Man, I was so responsible for getting that done, getting that uploaded before I left for a trip. Man, I feel great. And then I look at my fucking mentions and everyone is like, so did you, did you mean to mute yourself? Like, is that a joke? And I'm like, what? And I, I'm not gonna lie, like, I, I literally kind of did the Kendall Roy, like, le lean my head against the wall thing where I was like, oh my fucking god, dude. And I looked at the premiere file, my audio track was not muted. I don't know why that happened. I don't know why 10 minutes in, premiere just said, oh, you know what, fuck it, this guy said enough. We've had enough of this motherfucker. He's speaking a little too much. I don't know why the, there's literally no explanation for it. It just happened for some reason. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I like, didn't sit there like, rewatching the whole fucking hour. Okay, I didn't. I had I had to go. I had to leave. I had to get on a bus. Also, um, this person's probably not watching me because it's 3 a.m. here. But a tweet did make its way to me of someone saying that they saw me on a bus. <laughs> Again? They always see me on the bus, man. The bus is where it happens. And then, by the way, that tweet got like 90 fucking likes, dude. Okay? I haven't fallen off yet. People give a shit about me. That tweet got 90 likes. Estonian Twitter was... Uh, they, I mean, somebody did say that you should have tripped him up so that he fell down the stairs of the bus. Which I didn't... I didn't really like that, personally. But, um... Yeah. And also, like, I probably did dox myself to that person if they were sitting near me i was telling my friend quite a bit of personal information about my time growing up <laughs> so like they probably have a lot of like information on me now just like where i grew up and like where i went to school and like you know like where my where my childhood friend lived like they have all that information so if you do want to blackmail me let's just get it over with like let's do it i have like a little bit more free time in the next week Let's do it. I'm I'm down to kind of hash it out. I like how you were telling your backstory on the bus. The bus just makes me sentimental, man. Because I used to ride the bus to school with uh, with my friends. The bus is where the you know the juices flow, I guess. Um, but yeah, also kind of an awesome experience I had. I had an oyster for the first time. I went to a fucking Michelin star restaurant with my friend because I wanted to treat, like I wanted to show him this really good restaurant because he hadn't, actually, I don't know if it's Michelin star. I don't know. I like sometimes they're Michelin star and then sometimes they have that like red plaque that just says Michelin. And I'm like, is that a star or is that like a plaque? What the fuck is that? It just says Michelin. Is that a, what is that? Is that a star? I don't know. I, like, I don't know what the fuck, what, whatever. Doesn't matter. It was good food. Um, and it was one of those restaurants where you get like three courses. It was great. The oyster I had, not gonna lie, I was always doubtful about oysters my whole life. I, I you know, I fuck with some seafood, but to me, it was just like, there's no way an oyster could taste good. It's just kind of like, it's this like big,
bowl of brains just sitting there, right? It was kind of incredible. I actually really fucking loved it. I have never tasted anything like that in my life. I went into it fully expecting to be like, I just paid five euros for this one oyster, and it's the biggest fucking waste of my life. But I loved it. It was good. It was very good. Do you eat the outside of an oyster? No, you don't. Um, okay, that's another thing about these fancy restaurants. Uh, just one. Dude, they're five euros a piece, okay? I'm not about to be like, let me get a fucking pallet of oysters when I've never even had one, okay? I'm not about to drop like fucking 70 euros on oysters when I've never even fucking had one, okay? That's just not... I don't know if that would be too wise of me. Um, But no, you don't You don't eat the shell, okay? The shell, believe it or not, is is not edible. It's obviously not, right? What you do is... And this, I have the right to mansplain this now because I've done it. You take the fucking shell and you put your mouth up to it. And you, you kind of let it, you let it slip into your mouth. Euros sound gay as hell. I just paid five euros. Okay, we get it. You like throbbing hard cocks. Wanted to pop in here. And wanted to say I really appreciate the welcoming community that you have built. I have only been out as non-binary for one year, and been she to join new communities, but as I have been around more, I saw how... How welcoming yours was. Thank you, Adam. That's great to hear. That's very sweet. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad to hear that. Shout out, Adam. Um, and thank you for the three dollars as well. That's that's very sweet. Melody Core, Slippery Ween, Fishbowl Label, Kel Soupy, Elizabeth Isabel, Madge Twined, Adam Post stuff, says Chavez. Thank you. Um, but yeah, it's good. I will say, the common problem at these fancy restaurants is I just never know how I'm supposed to eat what I eat. You know, like they give you, I, they, there's always like some cream on the side and like, White people you know, everything's like so fancily Happy garnished. It's like, how do I, what do I eat first? What do I, do I put the, do I put this in the cream? Do I, I don't know. Um, but you know, I, I make do. Fancy restaurants are always doing too much. Look, I don't want to be a snob, but like when they do it right you do get to experience some pretty incredible flavors because they calculate that shit like crazy in there. You know, there's there's definitely some like very overworked, depressed chefs in the back making it for you. I think you're supposed to suck the cream out of the hole. Anyways, um... So, yeah. Anyways, on the topic of my food, I ate quail as well. Is that fucked up? Is that fucked up that I ate a cute little bird while a cute little bird was like dancing on my table? Is that kind of fucked up? Because, can I be honest? It was really good. It was really, really good. I'm sorry. It was... Delicious. I don't like... Okay, I don't... Here's the thing about truffles is... I don't have uh, anything against them, really. I just don't think they're really worth it. And I don't think they, like... They're a little bit too overwhelming, I think. You know, most times there's truffle in anything. The, the little hints of flavor that it gives... They end up dominating the whole palate... And I, I, I don't really, you know. What's up, J-Bot? What's up? Truffle mac and cheese is the best food ever. What if I told you this? Mac and cheese with ketchup is the best food ever. No truffle necessary. Probably knock a good 10 bucks off the price. Mm. 
Mac and cheese with tuna, though. Okay, that's another thing, right? I love the bear because it, I don't know, like it's, 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 I need to like figure out how to word this. Um, I just love food. Okay. Can I be honest with you? I love food. I love talking about food. I love eating food. I love eating with people. I love making food for people. I love when someone makes food for me, but at the same time, also you have to acknowledge that in our society, food creates a lot of stress for many reasons, numerous reasons. And the bear is also kind of about that, you know, how much we go through for food, you know, how much we've, how much this culture we've built around it, how much, you know, how much good it gives, but also how much we have to go through for it. Um, and it's great. I just really love it. And every time I watch the bear, I think, man, I'm going to go chop up some onions like the cool chefs in the kitchen. And then I realized like the way I chop is like a little child. I can't even, I'll never chop like them, man. And I probably shouldn't. I'd, I'd cut a finger off. Like I made a, I made a nice breakfast for my friend Owen Rogers before he left today. Um, my friend Owen Rogers who lives at 16 Penny Hart Lane in Brighton, by the way. Um, I made him breakfast. I made him some, you know, some like ham and egg, scrambled egg, some potato wedges. Um, also another a little Estonian thing I love. It's the salad that just has sour cream and, uh, sour cream, tomatoes and cucumber. It's really simple. But it's so good. It is so good. I love that shit. Sour cream? Yep. I hate cooking for myself. I never have the patience. So, that's the... Okay, the thing is, right? If you're like me, I realize this maybe a year or two ago. So this was a new discovery for me. But I realized sometimes I am under the illusion that I take care of myself because I take care of myself for the perception of others. I don't take care of myself to make myself happy. I used to think I did, but I realized I'm just doing a lot of this just to, you know, like seem put together to the people around me. Um, the same way, like for a while, like I, 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 I would, I would clean. When... Are you a part of the Oreo cream team? Uh, I don't know. I mean, are we just talking about Oreos here? Like, I don't know, dude. Some of the other cream talk that's been going on. I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know how to answer that. Anyways, um, yeah, a lot of uh, you know, for example, I think a lot of it can be seen in. <clears throat> how tidy you keep your place. If you only kind of clean it when people show up, that is a little bit of a sign of that. You know, you, you, <clears throat> you, you'll only do it if you're afraid of you not taking care of yourself, affecting others, right? And it, I was the same way with food for a while where I, you know, I kind of struggled to make a nice meal for myself because I was like, oh, I don't fucking care. I'll eat anything. <clears throat> And I think um, the, the kind of solution to this is really to treat yourself as a fucking person, you know, um, to really view yourself as a person, <laughs> because I think a lot of time we don't do that. We don't really humanize ourselves enough to give a shit about what we want or what we like. Um... So like, I don't know, making a nice meal, you know, giving yourself the patience to try and make a nice meal for yourself, knowing, you know, maybe I really like this meal this way and learning how to do those meals in that exact way is a, is a beautiful form of self care because you are the only person that knows exactly how you like things you're, you know, in a, in a, you know, in a in a little bit of a cheesy way, you are your own best friend. 
in that sense, you know everything about yourself, which is also why we're you know so quick to hate hate ourselves really, because um, we're just a little bit tired of ourselves. But a nice meal goes a long way, I think. And ever since then, ever since I've started making nice meals for myself, I think it's kind of helped me open up my eyes to that a little bit more. You know, it's it's because sometimes. I put a lot of effort into a meal knowing no, I, I'm doing this for nobody else. I'm doing this for myself. I could easily half-ass this and like I wouldn't complain, okay? Because some days I'll eat anything, man, all right? I'll burn that shit and I'll fucking eat it and I'll have a great time just because I don't want to think about what I'm eating. But putting in that extra effort and then sitting there and eating it and thinking, I did this for myself and this tastes good. I did good today. That's, a, that's rewarding in itself. It's good. So, yeah, I don't know if any of you want to get into cooking, you should. It's great. I think it's I think it's great. You should uh, you should uh, look into it. I think I think there's a lot, a lot of like therapeutic aspects to cooking, especially when you don't have uh, annoying ass motherfuckers in your ear on Twitter.com being like, oh, this shit's fucking unseasoned, bro. Oh, this shit's unseasoned in this fucking low light picture that you've taken. I've analyzed. I've zoomed in. Uh, this shit looks unseasoned, bro. And you should die. Because here's another thing is. Cooking is great in the sense that you can literally. Taste yourself getting better. You know, when you make a meal first time doesn't come out great. Second time, it's like, OK, wait a minute. We're starting to get there. You get to see yourself improve at something in such like a real and real sense you know what I mean also when you realize that most of the time when you just throw a bunch of random shit together it's pretty like it's edible like you can eat it, it, it that's kind of also life changing a little bit I won't lie <clears throat> and you save money because to be fair dude i've seen the i've seen the doordash in america dude what the fuck are those like service fees dude there's like there's like you check out and then like your order doubles in price basically from like service fees and whatever the other shit is there's like fees for everything so i think uh you know you'll save a little bit of money I've never ordered food. Y'all, if you have Amazon Prime, you can get free Dash Pass for a year. I've wasted so much money on delivery apps. It's not even funny. Dude, I recently... I'm not going to say, but recently I, I opened one of the apps and it just told me how many orders I've made in my lifetime. And I was like, oh. And then I kind of tried to calculate how much money that would be. And I was like, oh. <laughs> And I was like, damn, dude. I probably could have gotten a mortgage by now. <laughs> uh. I've definitely done 50k of orders in three years. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. It's uh, pretty serious. But also, you know... When you're depressed at like 4 a.m. and you can just literally spawn in McDonald's at your door. You know, that's, that's another thing is, I used to not order as much because you used to have to go to the door and talk to the person. And some days it's like, I don't want to see anybody right now. I'm, I'm like, I'm like basically naked right now. Like, I don't want to put anything on. I don't want to go to the door. Now, it just appears at your door. You don't have to come into contact with another human being. It is, it, it, it honestly shouldn't be allowed. It's it's too fucking convenient. You should... They should make it so that if you order food from DoorDash, you have to, like, shake hands with the delivery person and kind of share five facts about yourself. And then we'll see, like, how much we're fucking ordering. You know? Because I wouldn't fucking do it ever at that point. I would have to be in a really good mood. Kind of like, you know, like an introduction class. Everyone goes around in a circle... 
Two truths and one lie with them. Yeah, exactly. And then it's like, I, I'm, I'm like, to the point, I've reached the point of comfortability with it where when I order food and I look through my peephole and the guy's just standing there waiting for me to like open the door, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Leave. All right, everybody gets the hint. I said leave it at the door. Like, why are you standing there, man? Leave. And it's like, I mean, this really isn't like a, that deep of an interaction. Like, literally all he's going to do is hand me the food. He probably won't even say hi to me. <laughs> it's, it's like not that big of a deal. But I, for some reason, I'm like, why the fuck is he there? It's like my fucking operation talking about, why isn't he fucking getting the hint? Nobody does this. Nobody does this. I love looking through my peephole when they drop it off. Dude, I am the level of insane that if I'm staring through the peephole, I fake footsteps coming up to the door just so they don't think I was staring at them through the peephole. <laughs> I, I do that every single fucking time. Because I don't know. I don't want them to like... Also, okay, another thing that happened, right? This morning, I got a, I got a quick delivery of things. And I wanted to see if the delivery guy had pulled up to the house. So I, 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 I take a quick peek throughout the window. I move the curtain. And I kind of I like look through the window like this. And this lady with a kid was walking underneath my window. And she looks directly up, looks at me. And I look at her. And it just felt like, well, now she thought that I was, like, spying on her. Like, I was, I was, like, staring at her. I don't even know why she immediately, as soon as I looked out my window, she could feel my presence. And, 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 and just, ugh. She felt you staring with those glasses. Okay, that is the, White people be like used graduate. These glasses are cakes. actually very cool and sick, so Um Rabbit Sauce, thank you for the thank you for the sub. Thanks a lot. Also, like, I'm going to be honest, this stream isn't going to be anything crazy, okay? This is like the, I'm back, I'm back stream. Uh, but yeah, we're going to, okay, something that I do want to play on stream, low-key, is I want to play uh, that, like, shitty jumping game that everyone's playing, where they're going the way to the top. What is it called? Because I I've, I don't know. I've never played one of those games just because I know how much it would kill me inside. And I, I, I think it would be kind of funny. It's not shitty. Pretty sure it has mixed reviews on Steam, man. All the gamers are pissed. You want to be Madison Beer so bad. What do you guys think Madison Beer would think about me? Would we be chill? No. It was made to shill NFTs. Oh. She's mean as fuck. Like, here's the thing, right? I'm really lucky that I'm ugly as fuck. Because I think if I was kind of beautiful, so I'd be kind of mean too. <laughs> Low key, like I don't know, dude. Terve, I, terve, I, just, terve, I don't know. I, I'm humbled. I I get humbled every second of my day. I don't have time to be mean. I kind of have to like, I'm I'm reminded, you know. No, you're unique. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I think you're pretty, pretty ugly. Hey, that's a good one. That's a good one. No, yeah, I'm, I mean, like, here's the thing is, right? I think I see, like, okay, this sounds like I'm, I'm, I'm like taking a big tank of copium right now. He can drink I, 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 I see beauty and ugliness, I think. I think, and by ugliness, I mean, you know, like, not conventionally attractive type shit. Hey, mama. Um, 
Also, this is genuinely the most embarrassing thing about these glasses, dude. I'm such a fucking nerd with this little sweat stain, dude. The Haley Sharp pod is so embarrassing because I have to keep taking my glasses off to fucking wipe this shit off. Like, I might be going on a couple dates soon, dude. How am I? I need to get new glasses ASAP. I cannot go on the date and then my nervous ass, like, has my glasses fog up, man. They're gonna literally walk away. They're gonna unmatch me on the spot. That sweat seriously thought it was tape. They're gonna think your breath stink. My breath smells exquisite. Do you guys wanna smell it? Oh, my headphone wire. Hold on. Hold on. Also, like, I get it. Every time I take my glasses off, it's like the get him some brown contacts meme. But I need to take my glasses off and wipe this off for a second, okay? And I know this is, like, really jarring to people because my eyes are actually quite large. The funny thing is, not only can I not read chat like this, I can't even see my own face. All, all I can see is my fucking forehead, dude. That's literally all I can see. Wait, you do look so much older. No, like, here's the thing, right? You guys need to realize something. Literally, until I started doing this, my whole life, I was so embarrassed because everyone said I looked younger than I was. And then I started doing YouTube, and everyone said that, oh, dude, you look 40. People have literally genuinely been like, so how old are you actually to me? And I'm like, bro. <laughs> bro, what the fuck, dude? She said younger. No, I know. I I know. Uh, I know she said younger. And I know, like, that's what I'm saying is the glasses, the facial hair, and I mean this up here doesn't help either. But I actually am a quite a young man underneath. You said older. <laughs> you turning 25 next year is kind of unreal. That's amazing. I almost forgot. <laughs> you know, there's many people that haven't done... They, they did their best work in their 40s. So, I actually... I'm excited. I think... The older I get, the, the better is everything. I'm going to be 24 this year. So close to mid-20s. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, you know, as soon as you're 24, it's mid-20s, man. Like, I'm going to be honest. I'm... I'm mid-20s. Y'all got to focus on having kids or something. No. Could you see me with a child? That would be insane. That would actually be crazy, dude. I can't, I like, I, I don't know, man. I, the, the real issue is that before I have children, I have to become funnier so that I can hang out with Sips and Northern Lion because they're, they're dads. If I showed up to that function right now, I'd be such a fraud, man. I'd be the most hated dad of all time. <clears throat> Ugh. I had a dream, I had a kid, and met you, and you got freaked out, I had a child. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Once my viewers start having kids, like, once the first donation comes in, it's like, hey, watching this with my son, um, he's only eight months old, but he seems to be laughing, is uh, when I'm I, over, it's gonna end at that point. 
Surely there's at least one viewer with kids. Listen, on the uh, on the chance that there is a viewer with kids, I don't mean to like put that pressure on you. Like I'm not going to I'm not going to quit right now on the spot if you come out and say you have kids. All I'm saying is that, you know, don't tell me. <laughs> also, well, okay, it doesn't really matter if you just have kids. I think it's more so the viewers that have been around for a while, you know, kind of watch this over the years and then coming in and being like, okay, I'm 30 years old now. I have a child. That's scary. Will you be my daughter's godfather? Sure. I, I love to, uh, I would love to be a godfather to anyone really. I dive um, fat kids. Uh, raise your arm if uh, you went to school with at least like five people that now have a family with children. <laughs> yes. Uh, love it. Love it. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Some of those people, I, I look at them like, oh, there's no way. There's no way that this should be happening right now. But you know what? Good luck to the family. You know my ass having kids in like six years or something. Well, the way that you keep asking Northern Line for advice, I feel like it's like next year, dude. <laughs> I I definitely, you know, I'd be a cool ass uncle to Nick's children. Once I'm out of debt, I'm getting to work. <laughs> well, you know, good luck, man. A girl I played soccer with just had a son and I was gobsmacked. No, dude, literally, <laughs> there's this girl I know, and I'm not, you know, I'm not airing her out here. Obviously, this is anonymous. But when we were in the second grade, she might have pooped herself in the playground. And I was like, oh my God, you pooped yourself in the playground. And now she's someone's mom. So life comes at you fast, man. I think that's the craziest thing is when you know someone from when they were young, you've kind of known them before they grew up. So then you're like, all right, this isn't a, this is a, that's your, that's your parent. <clears throat> not you airing out a chatter's mother okay no no that's not i i don't think there's like a like a three-year-old in the chat i'm gonna be honest with you i i don't think there's a i don't i that's not probably happening i would hope i know that there's a few people that sneak in and you know you probably shouldn't be here but a three-year-old I don't know, man. That's the craziest thing, too. When I was a kid, I would watch anything, man. I'd go to the weirdest corners of the internet, and I'd just kind of hang out. And, you know, not on Mulder, I'm like, I sh that's kind of crazy that I was just, you know, on a forum with a bunch of, like, 30-year-old men when I was nine. There wasn't, like, anything weird to it. But I was just kind of hanging out, you know, those discussing video games with a bunch of, like, 40-year-old men. And it, it was chill, but, like, I wouldn't... I like wouldn't really let that happen today as a grown up, you know? <laughs> oh, that's weird. I mean, I like, okay, in their defense, it's not like I went on the forum and was like, I'm nine years old. I literally would say, like, yeah, my wife loved this because <laughs> I just wanted to fit in. I didn't want them to like kick me off the forum. So I, I would just like, I would let randomly put in those sprinkles of like, yeah, yeah. Played this with my son. <laughs> no, because why was I making servers for streamers at 14? Dude, I remember I was in Twitch chats in like 2012. There was this guy I know that used to stream to like 20 viewers. And I'd go to his Twitch chat. And he was, he was like this like 25 year old dude. And I, I, I would go in there and I would just be so fucking annoying that every time like 
he just at one point I think he just stopped acknowledging my messages, and it, that didn't stop me. I I was literally like I would the the wall the the whole wall in chat would just be my name, and he wasn't even reading my fucking shit, and I I still did not give up. So. I was 13 when I started watching you. <sighs> You'd be the type of to donate to Sips and say you named your kid after them. Low key, did I used to Google jokes to tell the Sips and then I would donate all of my pocket money to him? Yes, I did do that. And a couple times he would laugh and he would find it funny. And then I would be like, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So it was a worthwhile investment. But they weren't even my jokes. I just Googled them because I was like, I don't know. Everybody else was making jokes. I wanted it to be funny. Dude, look how big this is. This is like a fungus that's growing and it'll soon elapse the whole frame. It's all going to. It's all going to. It's all over. Yeah, I've been staring at it. I'm not going to. Thanks a lot. You've just got sloppy eyeballs. What am I, like a dog? What am I, like one of those dogs with the eyes popping out and like all sorts of fluids running down their face? I think your glasses are too close to your face. Probably, but like, I can't fix them because these hinges, my head is too long for them. <laughs> I'm gonna be fully honest with you. It's like these glasses, I shouldn't even be wearing them. They're kind of uncomfortable to wear. Is Estonian and Finnish similar? Uh, yeah. Your head grew? Yeah, probably. No, I really think what happened was my head got squished from the side a little bit. So looking front on, it's a little bit longer. And then looking from the side, it's a little bit wider. And then when you look top down, it's like a little bit skinnier. Show the side. Oh, we don't need to, we don't need to, you know, discuss side profiles right now. Yeah, and why, why did that person's first message is, you look so disheveled? You know, I never, I never looked this up. Let's look up the textbook definition for disheveled. Um, make... Okay, so this is the shovel. Hold on, I want, I want the shovel. The shovel describes things other than hair that have a messy or untidy appearance. <laughs> Damn. Damn, dude, you are kind of giving Phineas and Ferb character right now. Why is that word so funny? It's like that one time when that person came in a chat and said. You are an absolute husk of a man. It's like, I don't know if I've ever been called that. And I'm not gonna lie. Starting off, you think husk of a man. Like, like, ooh, he's husky. You know what I mean? It's like a compliment. But then turns out, it the definition is any form of useless, dried up, and subsequently worthless exterior of something. So, it was, like, pretty brutal, actually. <laughs> is that not what it means? I thought husky was good. I, I think husky is good, maybe. Husky definition. Big and strong. Patty looked a husky, strong guy. That's what they meant then? I don't think they did mean that. I think they meant... When they say husk of a man... I don't think there's any like really room for interpretation. The fact that they said husk of a man... Really just kind of lasers in. Shoots out the bullet. No, no, no chance it's missing the target. Ever since someone in chat said you look like Hang Yodon... I can't unsee it.
Hold on. I mean, shit. <laughs> I guess it kind of is like me. I guess I get it. I guess I see it a little bit, yeah. Oh, wait, guys. I want to watch this video with you guys. There's a... It's a short one, but I, I wanted to... Also, guys, can you look at this, please? I'm serious. Can you look at something for a second? Send this to me? No, like if I had it, I would not... I wouldn't give it to anyone. What are you talking about? I'm not going to send this. Or you want to send me... You want me to send you the picture? I'm not going to send you the picture. I don't have your... I don't have like a contact with you. Also, okay, this is crazy. Guys, there's so many captions I think of with this picture of Axel. I saw this and I was like, okay, they're probably going to do like three or four. Look at all these that just, they posted too much probably. <laughs> Which, I mean, that's just crazy. Wait. Dude, where's that video of... Uh... But most days I never... <laughs> you guys know what's coming. You guys know what's coming, man. It's this. Like, this is how the boy... Y'all, I... listen, the boy different. The boy, let me tell you. The minute you think you figured out the boy... The man writes a book. <laughs> Reading ski. Um, charge it to the game. And paid the bill. <laughs> He's giving you keys. Each key leads to the, ne to the next key. I don't. <laughs> Let me read some more. Hold on, hold on. Something other than me has got to give. <laughs> See, I'm taking my time reading this because, like, yo, you think I'm joking? Look, this, the man wrote a book. He wrote a sentence. Y'all think I'm joking? Look, <laughs> she suffers from main character syndrome. If you ask me, I told her I'm going crazy. She said, without me. <laughs> Y'all think I'm making this up? Like, the boy got a book. Listen, man, once you think you figured out Drake, you played yourself. Because you ain't figured him out yet. The man different. Mine different. <laughs> First of all, I don't have time to go around and tell every loser I come across I'm sorry for your loss. I'm not making this up. <laughs> First of all, I don't have time to go around telling every loser I come across I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> Dude, was he like on the fucking... Was he in the bathtub with like the foam running and stuff, like little bubbles and a little glass of champagne when he was writing these? Like, what? How did he? What kind of setting do you have to be in to like come up with these? But most days I never learn. You think I'm making this up, right? Like this, this how the boy. Y'all, I listen. The boy different. The boy. Let me tell you. The minute you think. Shit. What a guy. What a guy. What a waste of paper for one sentence each page. <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe there's like one line in there that'll make you go, Woo! Wow! Wow! Wow, that's real clever. That's real smart. Thought he was making it up, but it checks out. All right. So, actually, book club. The first book is going to be the Drake poetry book. Okay, I want everybody to buy a copy. And I reckon you guys have about a week and a half until um, I, I, I think we all come together and kind of figure out what's going on. Can you just get us a free PDF? Okay, you guys need to fucking support writers. Okay, all this stuff about like, the writers are on strike, by the way, right now. Striking for better pay. And you want me to steal from a writer right now. Okay. 
he he needs to eat as well. What if I do actually read it in a week and you forget? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just going to apologize ahead of time to anyone that actually is bu buying it and then reading it. Because I, I, I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. I'll steal the online copy and mass produce it. I would love to see an actual Ollie Chatter get sued by Drake. And then you're like, I'm sorry, I, uh, I got to cancel the sub, man. The lawyer fees this month, they're, add they're adding up. Bitches get a nose ring and just start lying on Twitch.tv. I've had a nose ring longer than some of you guys have been alive. I just finished the first episode of The Bear. I get why you said not to be high for it. <laughs> I, can I be honest with you? Um, I had my nose pierced right after birth. I've had a nose ring my whole life. I was basically born with this. You know, some people, they got they get circumcised. I got a nose ring. I was born with a septum piercing, actually. Should I get a should I get a another nose ring on this side and then a septum piercing here? And then like one of those like little Uzi vert? And then and then like two eyebrow piercings. And then all over my lip. Boom, 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 boom. Ring, 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 ring. And then and then um what else? What else? Uh Something on the cheeks. Mm. And, then, and, and then a smiley somewhere here. Put a little smiley up there. Then tattoo an outline of your skull on your face. You would look good with an eyebrow piercing. It would get in the way of my glasses, dude. It would get, it would get in the way of my nerd-ass glasses. Do you hate yourself? Don't desecrate your temple. I mean, I probably probably do hate myself, you know. Don't we all? <laughs> Am I alone here? <laughs> you know what the craziest thing is? Because I have glasses my whole life, I was like, man, people with really blue eyes, they, they scare me. They're freaks. Not realizing I have blue eyes. It's just that glasses make my eyes so small that like I don't, I don't see them. <laughs> I don't know really what I thought my what color my eyes were. I don't know what I was expecting. It turns out, I am what I hated this whole time. You didn't know the color of your eyes, okay? Low key, when I was in the third grade, this kid, he took a good hard look at my eye and he said, "You're like a mutant, bro. You got three colors in there." And then I was like, "Oh, well, that's not nice." And then I remember like I went home and I told my mom, I was like, somebody called me a mutant today. They looked at my eye and they said I was a mutant. And my mom was like, what? They said that? Um, yo, I have my first ever high school party in two days. It's from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Can you please give me some advice about how to ask my mom by tricking her? Because she wouldn't approve otherwise. Son, I'm almost 25 years old. I don't know if I should help you like trick your parents. I think I should probably like tell your parents. I think I'm at that age now where I should probably, I should probably notify your parents. I don't know. I mean, now listen, not to give you any ideas, but like I, I just usually did the whole like I'm like, going, I'm going like, over to my friend's house. How was order day, man? But also like you know, I don't know. Is the party safe? I don't know. Are you having, are you gonna have fun there? What are you gonna do there? Wait, I forgot you weren't like 19 still. I'm a 19 year old, 40 year old. Like I don't, Scalatelli, thanks for the six months. Thank you. Lucifer, Sophie Swanson, Rainy Avon, Cryptic Mars, Rabbit Sauce. 
Slime Poetry, thank you, everybody. I'm not gonna lie, like it's been a while since I I literally took one glance and I was like, oh my goodness. It's been a while since I actually was left like that was just genuine speechlessness. And, like that wasn't even like Hoover coming in saying like, you got a you got a creamy hole, and then me being like, oh Hoover, I'm gonna be silent for a second. No, that was just genuinely like wow. Did I mean, man, wow. What a life, huh? What a life. <laughs> what a fucking life to live. I feel like the moment the clock strikes 12 on your 25th birthday, you're going to turn into this wrinkly middle-aged man. Um, You know, I'll have you guys know, because of quarantine, I'm actually still 16, so... You know, like, I, I didn't really, like, uh, develop during those years, so I'm still, like, you know, <laughs> I'm, like, young still. That's creepy. I mean, you're probably right. I probably shouldn't say that. I'm too old to be saying shit like that. Do you even have wrinkles? No, dude. I'm as I'm a I'm a I'm a fucking I'm you could, I'm as I'm as smooth as I'm as smooth as a um. You know, like uh, something really smooth. And guess what the good thing about not going outside is? The sun doesn't get all over your skin and make you wrinkly. So, all of you nature cells, I'm just going to say this. I'll see you guys in 20 fucking years. Because um, I'm going to be looking mighty fine. And you guys are going to be going through it. You're going to be... You're going to be whining about old age. I'm going to be as, as young as a buck. Do you use moisturizer? You know, sometimes I, I, I do a little, you know what I mean? I go a little bit like this. And other times, you know, I, I let it marinate in the, in the juices that God's making. You know what I mean? Mike. You're gonna wrinkle. I have too much moisture coming out of me at any point in my life to uh, wrinkle at any point. To wrinkle, you gotta dry up, and uh, that's never gonna happen. Not didn't mean it that way. Again, I know that every time I do this bit, people look at it and they're probably like, "This fucking annoying motherfucker." He has one fucking bit, and it's saying something suspicious, and then being like, "Oh, I didn't mean it like that." I genuinely. Just have fucking lost in my mind, okay? If you look at my streams from like three years ago, I was, I had manners. I had manners. I had class. I had class. I had, you know, I didn't have behavioral issues. And then quarantine happened. And, um, I'm fucked up. I'm a fucked up little duck. I'm a, I'm a, I'm fucked up. <laughs> Bro, love you, but your mustache is a firefighter stash. What the? All right, dude. You know, here's the most annoying thing, right? I don't even get, like, lazy insults anymore. I have to look them up. Every time I get insulted, I have to look it up to, like, understand what you mean. Firefighter mustache. Dude, what do you mean? <laughs> is it, like, what, what? Do I look like this? Do I look like this? I do not have the little twirls, dude. I don't put the fucking gel in my mustache to get those twirls. Search up ginger firefighter. White people be like... Okay, well, okay, hold on. Okay, well, all right, all right, Jesus. I can't, my God. Anyways, 
Um, monkey pill. Thank you for the sub. You should get the gel and do the twirls. How do you get... Should I start styling my facial hair in a fun way? Get like a long goatee? Do some... Do... Oh! Say, I do say. I do say. I do declare. No, you cannot shut down my factory. We must proceed. I don't care that there was an explosion at the factory. We must proceed. Net worth 60 million. <laughs> Oppenheimer. Dude, I the funniest tweet I saw about Oppenheimer was like Oppenheimer saying, I'm death, destroyer of worlds. And then scientists who also helped work on it Ah, uh, yeah, me too, man. <laughs> That's like the fun... That, like, I don't know, it made me laugh. You know, I know that quoting tweets doesn't make them as funny, but in the moment, it was... Okay, chat, move, please. Hello? Hello? D don't let Gay J take over right now, dude. What the hell? Pretty good, thanks. Thanks. I just got back from getting ice cream, sorry. Dude, y'all ever fucking hear a little uh, ice cream van going through the neighborhood and you get scared, so you barricade your fucking windows? Cause they're they're creepy, dude. Let's let's check out some ice cream van jingles. Van jingles is like some Dutch fucking Dutch Santa Claus, but you know what I mean. Ice cream van jingles. How do they choose their fucking thing, you know? This one's a little bit distorted. Like, why is this one sinister? I'm not gonna lie, if I hear this fucking tune coming faintly out of somewhere in my neighborhood, I would yell at my kids, I'd say, RUN! GET INSIDE NOW! Okay, this one's like... This one's like, alright. I'm about to mosh with some kids at the fucking... in front of the ice cream van as we wait to get ice cream. A girl's a gun, thank you. Almost napped through the whole stream, po forido. I mean this, you know, this we know. This one, I feel like gets annoying real quick. Okay, someone's about to get sued by, like, Nintendo or some shit. What the hell is this? My local ice cream truck plays On the Floor by J-Lo. Is that real? Spit some bars real quick. You don't, you don't want that. I'm gonna be honest with you. None of us want that. Fancy an ice cream? <laughs> Stony and ice cream trucks will have you ordering mazikayatis. Actually, I would get bananiatis. So fuck you, Jack.
Yeah, these are eerie, not gonna lie, man. Wait, there was this one video I Owen showed me where um Look at this, dude. They back You know what that just reminded me? That reminded me of that video of the guy that like filmed police outside of his house and then he farted, where he was like, Oh mob head, I farted. Does anybody know? I think I've done this before on stream. I've brought up that video and be like, does anyone have the video? Because I couldn't find it. Hold on. Let me see. Is it illegal to fart in your hand and throw it at a cop? That's not what I looked up. You smell nice today. Uh, thank you. Wait, Breaking Bad, Hector farts scene. It's bullshit. Come on, Granddad. Don't you want to help us out? Oh my god! That was that was uh, that was entertainment by the way. That was uh, humor. That was humor Twitch. That was not real. That was uh that was not that wasn't actual, you know. Yeah, it's just melted chocolate. It's melted chocolate. Dude, does anybody have the video? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? It's like a Snapchat video and the description is my bad, I didn't mean to fart y'all, and there's like the skull emoji, and it's someone like filming the police outside of their house. Just got back from dinner and this is what I see. I remember that way. Yeah, like if if you if anyone knows how to find that video, it's like it's classic Kino, dude. We need to we need to see it. Eat sugar free gummy bears for us. Can we watch the 13 reasons why? Oh. Oh my god, oh my god. Yes, dude. <laughs> yeah, so, you know. And to say that, like, they didn't mean to do it is kind of crazy because that was, I don't know, man. That was like, let's let's lock it and rock it. You know what I mean? <sighs> Anyways, sorry. I know that every stream delves into this territory. I apologize. I'm sorry. Um, we won't, you know. The way your camera is angled makes you look very short. Oh, yeah? Do I look... I have so many wires around me. Do I look short now? <laughs> My headphones. <laughs> See? Right? Did you take that shirt from Hoover? No, we bought matching shirts. My fly is not down because these pants don't have a fly. Silly goose. You're not going to get me. You're not going to scare me. The stream is making me laugh a lot and I needed it, so thank you. This stream has been uh, nothing but... You know, finding out new things about myself, like mustache, firefighter mustache, uh, disheveled. But, you know, I, I've enjoyed it. There's probably flies in your room. Dude, I know for a fact, West West had to, like, push a fucking fly off their keyboard to uh, write that message. And that's why they even thought about that in the first place.
I just looked up ginger firefighter and there was just a dude with his cock out. Yeah, you know, that's that's why I wasn't really like sharing the the results as there were some uh I don't know why. Like ginger firefighter, you can't just look up ginger firefighter without it being a whole whole thing. Like what is what is up with that? Um Oh yeah, like um, some streams that I want to do in the future. None. I don't want to stream anymore. I'm done. Thanks for watching, guys. Ah, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, Sims. Wolf Among Us, maybe? I don't know, though. Wolf Among Us is kind of long, I think. Hold on. Truck sim? Yeah, we'll do truck sim. You play Mario Kart? Oh, I want to play uh, some Switch Sports on stream because I've been playing in my own personal time. I'm pretty good at bowling. I'm pretty good at bowling, I and I, I'm kind of proud of it. So... Can you do Just Dance? Dude, here's an annoying thing. Like, I get so embarrassed doing shit like Just Dance because one dance in and I'm like, what do you guys think? Is it a good game? What's up? Larry, scary. Thanks for the uh, uh, raid of uh, one. Thanks a lot. Do you even own a bowling shirt? I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you have to, you know, wear a bowling shirt. And, uh, but I did get a, I, I did get the golden bowling shirt on Nintendo Bowling because I got a score over 200. So, why does the posture check cost so many points? Uh, because uh, I want to be left alone. Get a bowl cut? D does it look like... Dude, I'm not gonna lie. If you put a bowl in my head right now, the scissors would have to go in from the bowl and be like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <clears throat> I had to end stream because I found a rat in my house. Have a great stream, man. Larry, can I just say, that's scary. <laughs> so he was like, what's up with you, man? <laughs> um You know, okay, here's a fun uh I think for you guys. It's a little bit of positive news. Uh, I went to the science center for children. Me and my grown ass friend, we just went there because we had nothing else to do. We were just like kind of messing about and all things. And then there was this thing that was like, here's what your weight would be on different planets. Like you step on a scale and it tells you your different weight on planets. My dumbass didn't realize like the weight for Earth would just say your weight. And I, I don't really like, I, I, I never step on a scale. I don't look at my weight and I found it to be like very great for me because I don't really think about it anymore. So I was like, yeah, let's check this out, dude. Mars is this much. Oh, okay. Earth. Oh, that's interesting. And then I realized, oh, wait a minute. That's, that's my weight. And then I saw the number and I was like, huh, I don't care. 
And then I, I turned around and I put my fist up in the air and I said, I don't care. And all the children and the families, they started clapping and they, they said, yes, yes. And I went through, I ran through, I, I high-fived all of them. Um, and then I wrestled a scientist to the ground and I said, I don't care. I don't care. And they, they said, help, help me. And I said, I don't fucking care. So, and the men that invented science shook your hand. Uh, they had penises in jars at the science center. There were penises in jars. You are delusional. It literally said penis in jar. Was there Russ Boone's there? Yo, put a one in chat if you've ever seen Russ Boone's dick. Kind of crazy. I'm going to look it up right now, but I'm not going to show it on stream. Yup. Pretty crazy. Shit. I mean, that's crazy. <clears throat> or would you as a man look at penis? Sometimes you just got to take a good hard look. You know, like, it's kind of like, you know, do you look before crossing the street? Yes, I do. Because you just kind of have to sometimes. We can see it in your glasses. Not going to lie, that actually scared me. That did. That actually kind of. Wait, Loki, I want to listen to this Fei Wong cover again. I just want to sit you down and bathe you. I know you stink bad. I literally showered two hours ago, and I smell delicious. Not to, like, egg you on. That's not... You don't, You should not take... Listen to your monkey pill. I've seen your messages. Do you, you do not read that in any way. I'm normal? I don't think you're normal. I'm going to be fully honest with you. In a chat full of abnormals, you might be the abbest of normals. Isn't it awesome when like white people at a concert just start all like clapping? You know what I mean? Doing like... Wait, do you guys want to see something awesome? Let me see if I can find it real quick. I might have already shown it to be fair, but... Sometimes I go live and I, I just black out immediately. I don't remember anything that I do on stream. And then I just do the same thing tomorrow. And one sh person in chat's like, You fucking piece of shit. I don't know if I showed this video, but... Um, hold on. Dude, look at this. Look at this. It's the goat, dude. It's the goat at the concert of the goats. Look how happy he is. Turn, come on, turn your head, bro. Look over here. Messy, messy. Uh, you and him have similar posture. Hold on a minute. Okay, no, no, no. He, they, I don't have posture like that, and he doesn't have posture like that. He is kneeling. He is leaning on some kind of structure here. Okay, nobody looks like this. Okay, and it just, you know, this is one of the. This is the, probably one of the greatest athletes to have ever graced the planet Earth. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Uh, so maybe this posture is a good thing. Maybe it's good that I have that posture. Just saying. If I were a middle school boy, I would love this. 
Okay, first of all, you cannot call the Coldplay audience middle school boys, okay? The Coldplay audience are people that love to have fun and love to feel something. Okay? Where where my uh where my cold heads at? My mom? Look, will I go into the fucking Coldplay mosh pit and like push some of your moms over and giddy and fun? Yes, I will. Dude, it's a mosh pit, all right? Shit happens. Don't question mark me. Like, dude, listen to this track, dude. The song, Shiver. Oh, oh, listen to this. Oh, oh, my God. My goodness. My goodness, what's going to happen? What are they going to do? Oh, If you hate Coldplay, you hate living. Which I know all of you are going to say, I hate living. I hate living. Not what I meant. I played this on Guitar Hero at Chuck E. Cheese once. Me when no Coldplay, I hate living. Ah, me when Coldplay, I love living. No, literally, dude. Me when Chris Martin writes a song about Quentin Paltrow. Oh my God, I love this. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> Low key, like, Quentin Paltrow must, like, I don't, I don't know, like, she must be like a an intense lover. To like get a man to write all this music like this is crazy this all this whole discography man like you can tell ever since they broke up um the music's been shit he doesn't have that muse anymore they're married they were married they have kids together probably like listen i love chris martin but has to be like top five most obnoxious family on earth like definitely <laughs> Any woman that makes pussy candles would be an intense lover. Also, some people, as soon as I said intense lover, they immediately thought I meant like I meant it in a dirty way. I just meant like in general, you know, like in general gives out a lot of love to the person she's with, I reckon. I don't know. That's what I've that's what I've read about. Read about Quinneth. I don't keep up. I'm not I'm not like a you know I'm not I'm not subscribed to Goop or whatever. My sister's friend knows their daughter. I'm a I'm a family friend as well. You know, like some of y'all talk about oomph divorce. Holy moly. Hi. My oomph divorce was uh Chris Martin and Quinn Paltrow. And uh they both cut contact with me. Pretty sure Apple Martin was kicked out of multiple sp schools for bullying. Dude, I mean, like, with a name like Apple Martin, I feel like they had no choice. They had to, like, do the bullying before it happened to them. <laughs> I want to read into this, actually. Nora, thank you. Hello, chat UPA. Especially if it's true that she severely bullied kids and got kicked out of her high school for it. That's crazy, dude. Can you play Sparks next? No, dude, I know what I'm playing. The, the best song of all time, dude. No, low-key, 
I don't like this song that much. And I think the music video is so fucking weird. To to be honest with y'all, all right. I know I know uh, you know some people in chat might have thought you know I'm sorry, but um, the chorus is pretty good. Okay, the chorus is typical Coldplay like yes, dude, you're my fucking universe. Like you're a sky, cause you're a sky. You know what I mean? Like that type of shit. But like in general, it's not bad. It's not bad. But you know, um, dude, who remembers this song though, man? Oh, summer 2014, man. Bam. Cycling down the street. Bam. Cause you're a sky. White people be like, pay poots. Pay poots. Cassie. Thank you. Thank you. From the stars. I'm gonna give you my heart. Can you put your viewers on the Parachutes album? Listen, y'all gotta like, I w y'all will, will be listening to Coldplay, all every single one of you, and you will be saying, "Oh, what's your Twitch?" Joe Jams, thanks to Tier One. If you do, <laughs> dude, sixty-eight monthly. Listeners, 68 million, forgive me. 68 million monthly listeners. Um, and I need to hang out with every single one of these people. Loki, am I a fucking husk of a man for literally on dating apps? If I have to decide if I swipe left or right, it's literally just music taste. Like, I'm not gonna lie. There's like, there's like some shit where I'm like, if this is a top artist, I don't care what else you got on here. It's a left swipe, 100%. It's literally like the only thing I care about at this point. Because I don't know what to talk to people about outside of music and film. That's literally the only way I know how to communicate with people. I'm going to be fully honest. I have nothing else to my life. I listen to like six Coldplay songs and I love them deeply. Jeff Buckley lover. One time, you subbed like right at the end of the stream, and I didn't get to thank you. So thanks. This is like a month ago, maybe even more. But yeah, I just want to let you know. You never thank my subs. I literally thanked the sub you gifted. I did. I did. What a memory. I remember every single thing you guys have ever done and will Box ever do. Hello. All my homies love Coldplay. No, exactly. What about um What about this one, dude? <laughs> Fucking James married ass riff. We love it, dude. Like, they cooked with this. They did. The music video used to piss me off. Why do you hate having fun? <laughs> Guys, also, another... I know a lot of you have listened to this album. But I've been back on this bullshit recently, man. Come on. Check it out, dude. Check this album out. All right? Listen to this. Listen to this album. It's it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I love it. It's um so 90s in the best way possible, but it's also so real. Oh, it's so good. It's a great album. Also, I have a playlist I'm working on. Nine Okay. This is a work in progress, okay? <laughs> I I I have I need to add more. Definitely like their fifth best. Here's my Radiohead ranking, okay? All right, let me let me think about this. Um, my favorite is either 
to be honest with you, the bends are a moon-shaped pool. And then Kid A. Then OK Computer. No, in Rainbows. In Rainbows before OK Computer. And then... The King of Limbs is like, so whatever. Hail to the Thief, probably. I haven't listened to Amnesiac enough to really list it anywhere. But um, the Pablo Honey, and then the King of Limbs is probably their worst. R.I.P. Axe. He was a very genuine streamer that I've viewed since the beginning. It's sad to see his pre-recorded videos before him passing. May he rest in peace. <laughs> what? Dude, who's going to tell me that I died? And I'm alive again. Also, I did, when I went home recently, I recovered my old laptop from like 2015, 2014. Uh, and there's some new old extra Ollie content on there, including videos of me playing Toontown in a call with my friends. And my accent is crazy. My accent is so crazy in it. How did your accent go away? A lot of bullying. No, nah, actually, I don't know. Just kind of happened. When you die, who are you giving the stream key to? Uh, no one. When I die, Twitch dies with me. <clears throat> give it to Luther? I'm not going to give it to Luther. That's not going to happen. I'm not giving it to Luther. Let me think about what other songs I've been I've been kind of heavy into recently. And then I'm probably going to wrap it up. But just to, you know, give you guys a little. Please listen to Fiona Apple. I will, I will, I will, I will. I mean, high and dry, dude. Oh. What a what a track. This homosexual ass song, my God. <laughs> you listen to MF Doom, of course. Of course I do. I don't care what the fans say. High and dry makes me cry shit. It makes you cry shit? Oh, that's a fucking... It's pink eye in the making, man. I don't even know that's pink eye. That's like the next evolution, dude. It's like next level. You're not... Also, okay, this is another thing I forgot to say about the bear. This soundtrack is so fucking good. They had multiple Brian Eno tracks on season two. Multiple. Crazy. They had this one uh, Ethiopian jazz track that I fucking loved. I remember listening to it a lot in um, Brighton last year. See if I can find it. Where is it? Is it this? Oh yeah, this dude. Are you like an ambient only you know guy, or are you like rocking with his art pop stuff? I like anything he does. I think he's great. I think he's such a such a brilliant mind. It's just nice, dude. It's so nice to listen to. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And, okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I know I'm going to get called... Fifth, I'm never going to beat the 50-year-old allegations for this, but... um, 
I love how much they use REM in the soundtrack. I don't know what it is about it. When REM comes on, I'm just kind of like, yeah. <laughs> I don't even listen to REM really. But like when it comes on somewhere, I'm like, yeah. I don't know. Dude, like, am I crazy? Should I should I die for my beliefs? What's REM? Dude, REM? Listen to this, dude. This is like the fucking pinnacle of dad music. Oh, life! It's bigger! It's bigger! You! You are not me! Things that I would go to! Distance in your eyes! Oh no, I've said too much! I set it up! That's me in the corner. That's me in the spot. Like, who was in my religion? I don't know how to do it. Yes, dude. I have listened to uh, Masayoshi Takanaka because he, first of all, um, Brazilian Skies, great album. But second of all, that fucking video of him with the surfboard guitar is so sick, dude. Look at this. Let's look at this. I've played this song at the beginning of my streams before, but like, look at this guy, dude. Like, look. Look at this, dude. Here comes the boy. How heavy would that be? Probably heavy as fuck. I need to like pass out in the middle of this crowd. I need to like get so into it that I fucking hyperventilate and pass out. This is what an actual like, Mario Party stream feels like. <laughs> no, literally me when I'm booting up Sims on stream. <laughs> <laughs> do you listen to king cruel i want to listen to king cruel so bad but i've tried and it's like sometimes like i don't know if i'm in the mood for the oh my god oh my god i don't know like i don't know Oh my god! <laughs> I know that he just dropped after like six years. <laughs> You'd love his new album, I think. Guys, what is your favorite album? Right fucking now. Anti-social, it's always good. Good band. The Wall Nostalgia Critic. Okay, dude. After Laughter. Pure Heroin. Sling by Claro. Right now it's and by Pine Grove. I gotta say, Need To is a one of those TikTok songs where it's like it's so good. I don't mean to call it a TikTok song, but you know, like a song that gained notoriety from TikTok. It's really great. Nothing here to care about. <laughs> Mm. 
Yeah, recently I've been listening to a lot of the Benz. A lot of um, this Amy album by Nine Inch Nails called Ghosts 5 or V. I don't know. I guess it's, I think it's Ghost 5. Ghost 5 together. That's great. Um, I've been listening to... I need to start making my seasonal playlist again. I've kind of been flopping on that. The new Aphex Twin is good. I'm looking forward to the tracks. Wait, aren't they dropping like real soon? Not that it hurts to see. New Gen Elmo A album is so good. I, um, when I was younger, I loved the Arch Android. I thought that album was so incredible. Like locked inside. I love this song. I love her as well. Or sorry, I don't them, I think. My my bad. Um But yeah. <clears throat> Have you heard the dead Texan? I feel like you would love. No. Wait, actually. I think I've seen this, maybe. Yeah, I used to listen to this when I was uh, a young man. A young man walking to school, you know what I mean? Uh, what else have I been listening to? To, 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 to. There was a stabbing in my area, so I'm scared. Oh. Hope, hope you stay safe. I do love, I've been rocking heavy with uh, Cocteau Twins for the past few months. Really love them. Huge on them. Um, do you listen to Strokes? No, sorry. I'm Team Killers, okay? In the, in the war for indie rock, I'm Team Killers. <laughs> I don't know. I... The Strokes have some good songs. I just never properly got into them. Have you listened to Pavement? I've heard a few Pavement tracks. Dean Blunt as well, yeah. I've been listening to a lot of Dean Blunt. Um, What is this one Dean Blunt song I really like right now? This one, I think. Oh. I love Dean Blunt. And every time I post Dean Blunt on my story, everyone gets so excited. They're like, oh my god, you like Dean Blunt. The Dean Blunt community is thriving. <laughs> Do you listen to Solange? Oh, dude. Solange needs to drop again soon because a seat at the table? Oh my god, dude. Such an incredible fucking album. So good. Front to back. Fucking, dude, Cranes in the Sky is probably one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard in my life. Mad is really good. Don't Touch My Hair. Oh. Oh. Such a fucking everything. I love everything about this album. Um, Like the cover. I think this is such a beautiful cover. I think the name is great. I think... The sound is great. The lyrics are great. Everything about it is just great. I think um, when I get home, I think it has some really great tracks on it. But as a whole, I don't think it's as good. But the highlights on it are still terrific. Thoughts on if you're feeling sinister? Goat. Goated. What are two artists you would love to see collab? <sighs> the Killers and Young Lean, man. <laughs> no, they could actually cook something up, I feel like. Um, no, nah, I need to think about it. Um, who would be two to work together that would kind of be sick? Um...
the killers on Sugar World would go crazy. Dude, I, I feel like if you tried to explain the concept of Sugar World to the killers, they'd be like, what? So it's a man doing karaoke. Wow. <laughs> Hamburger cat, thank you. Pienempi kuin kolme. Fiona Jean, thank you for the 26 months. Thank you. White people. Thanks a like lot. Hi. Thanks everybody for the sub. All right, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do a thing now. So don't get too scared. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to maybe go live tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Go live tomorrow, maybe. Or if not, the day after. But, yeah, there's going to be some streams this week. Um, We're going to have some fun, okay? Um, bow. Also, thanks for all the subs. Oh, Cannon, Coves, Joe Jams, thanks, thanks. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it a lot. Uh, I appreciate everybody for watching. It really does mean a lot. Um, thanks, for the, thanks for the love. All right. Actually, I think Chibli's live. I'm going to raid Chibli.